Today I'm going to run a quick experiment on tying multiple strings of panels together. Right now I'm pulling in about 350 watts. It's pretty hazy. And it is almost November as well. Right now I have three different strings, all of running about 107 to 110 volts. I only have one connected right now, which is the array that I just built that is four 200 watt panels. Then I have two strings of 100 watt panels for a total of 500 watts per string. So that should be 800 plus 500 plus 500. I want to link them all together here since they're all similar voltages and see what kind of power I get. So right now on my 800 watt array I have 113.6 volts. And each of the strings of 100 watt panels is 117.6 or so volts. For the record the last string was 118.1 volts. So we have about a 7 volt spread. I'm going to use these three way connectors here to link all the strings together. Alright, now that we made some nice spaghetti wiring, <laughs> let's go inside and see what my voltage is and what kind of wattage I get out of it too. And here's our final voltage for all three strings tied together. We ended up losing 2 to 3 volts here because the 100 watt strings were around 116 to 117 volts each. So the overall output will be lower than those strings alone. But this way, if you have only one MPPT or only one set of wires to use, you can tie them together and have all of the arrays work together to produce power when you may only have one otherwise. So now with the three strings tied together, we went from 350 watts out of an 800 watt array to a 1800 watt array that's pulling, well it's bouncing between 800 and 850 watts here at the moment. So considering it is Halloween day and it is hazy with high clouds today, I'm not going to complain too much about getting 800 watts or so instead of 350. Later in the day, I did actually see around 1200 watts coming from the arrays combined together. This is not a bad result considering it was end of October and a pretty hazy day. Here's a graph from Solar Assistant on the day that I actually hooked this up. You can tell until the uh, power went out there that I was peaking out around 550 or so watts of input. And then after joining all the strings together, I hit a peak of about 1100 to 1200 as far as that goes. So you do definitely get a gain here. In the time I've been running it this way, it does seem to peak around 1400 watts or so. Usually you're around 1200 on really sunny days. So you do give up some power because again, you are losing a few volts of energy here. So it's not a perfect solution. This is something that you would do either in an emergency if one of your charge controllers died and you really need that extra power or you are too poor to be able to buy another charge controller or enough wire to hook the solar panels up to that charge controller. In my case it's pure laziness I have not gotten around to running wire to my second MPPT yet. So this again is not a situation that I would or a solution I would use on a normal basis. It is definitely preferable to have separate wiring to go into separate charge controllers but in a pinch this will work out it is a shenanigan but hey that's what this channel is about i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and have a good one